Hello YouTubers, um, welcome to my presentation on the end of Queen Boudica. It's a short presentation. We go back to the year 61 AD. The Romans have conquered uh, Britain in 47 AD. And it doesn't mean that everything is uh, well after this conquest, because when the Romans come, they bring tax collectors and money lenders and aristocrats trying to buy or steal your uh, land, for example. This leads to a conflict. A Roman tax collector gets in conflict with Queen Bunica, the Queen of the Iceni. And because of this quarrel, um, the tax collector decides to have uh, the two daughters of Bunica raped and Bunica flogged. Bunica, of course, very, very upset. She uh, persuades other uh, tribes to uh, revolt against Rome. This revolt initially is quite successful. She takes uh, cities like London and Colchester and yeah, she devastates uh, these places and kills everybody in sight. So it was quite a, quite a horror. The Romans still managed to raise an army of 10,000 soldiers with a little bit of cavalry under the leadership of the general Suetonius Paulinus. This is the battle site. You have to understand this is a thickly wooded area. These are woods and in between the woods there is a huge gap, a huge open field. The Romans take up this position because they, can def they have their flanks covered by the woods. There is no way an army could go through the woods and attack them left or right. Queen Burica is over here with her force and you can see the number here of approximately 60,000 Britons. Burica is so overconfident, so confident that she's going to win today because 60,000 against 10,000 for her it must have been a piece of cake. So she invites all the other non-combatants to come up, come over and watch the big show which is about to unfold. So what you can see here are cards plus numerous, well, numerous tens of thousands of people, women, children, elderly, watching the show. Boudica signals the attack and the entire force of 60,000 swarms against the Rome. When you come on this point, however, you already get some sort of bottleneck situation. The entire force is trying to get into this space. So this is already very crammed up. They hit the Roman lines, but the Romans don't give way. And after a couple of minutes, you have to understand this entire crammed up force is being exhausted. Then the Romans change their straight line into a wedge formation. I'm going to show you wedge formation. Wedge formation are like yeah, teeth shaped, you can see it as teeth. And all the soldiers in between these teeth have even less space to move in. So they can't even use their swords because they're too cramped up. And then the Romans push and push and push and push Boudica's force back. This leads into chaos and Boudica's forces are trying to escape as quick as they can. However, over here they're being blocked by tens of thousands of people, plus many obstacles people are standing on. They have nowhere to go and the Romans push with their cavalry and they defeat the entire force of Queen Boudica. Queen Boudica escapes but commits suicide and it's the end of Queen Boudica and a bizarre military victory by the Romans against overwhelming forces of the opponent. Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed it.